Selling your business is one of the most exciting yet most stressful events any entrepreneur and business owner can go through. On the one hand, you are excited about selling your business because you have arrived to the point of exit and you're really, really happy about the possibility of making all of the money that you invested in the business and a lot more. And of course, having the freedom to embark in your new project and your new adventure. It is exciting to be here in this final exit where you can feel the freedom and the ability to choose what your next step is going to be. On the other hand, it is gut-wrenching because none of this is under your control. There's nothing you can do to accelerate it or to ensure that it does sell. You can't force it to happen or go faster, but you are an entrepreneur and a business owner. So you know how to get things done. You're a go-getter. You make stuff happen, right? And this whole sitting on your hands is something you're not used to doing. You are ready to take the next steps, but you are forced to wait to go back and forth in the negotiation process, to wait forever for answers. As bittersweet as it is to sell your business, more often than not, you are so ready to get out and be done, right? Your mind is probably already out and done, looking for the next opportunities, the adventures, but especially that moment of ease, that peaceful moment. And Asking you to be patient, to submit one more paper, to wait a little longer. It just feels so frustrating and impossible almost. This negotiation no longer depends on you. It's out of your control. It's out of your hands. It's in the hands of some other people deciding your future. And it's difficult to feel like you're ready to get done with this and keep going and not having control of when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. Now, you did make the decision to sell the business. You hired the right people to help you. You know it is possible and you're ready to make it happen, right? But this whole waiting game can feel like a punch to the gut. It's just so constricting. Business owners and like you set goal for the, a vision for their future. And you are probably already envisioning a future where you are creating opportunities based on the sell of your business. You are probably planning your next moves. You're feeling excited about the possibilities once your business sells. Your mind is excited about a future outcome. But there's one problem with this future tripping, as some people call it, is that because the process is not 100% under your control, doesn't depend on you, Holding that large outcome and vision just makes you feel stressed and resentful sometimes towards the buyer or the people that are helping you because it just feels like they're not moving at the pace that you're expecting or not doing what you're needing them to do. And this whole stressful moment does not let the process flow smoothly. Instead, it makes you feel out of control anxious, worried. So you try to distract yourself with the dream of what it'll be once the business sells, right? A vicious cycle, but you can't help it. You're a visionary. You dream about the future. You create the path. Envisioning the future according to your expectations and timelines is a dangerous place because this process is not just under your control. You'll start putting pressure on yourself and other people and you're going to start becoming controlling and micromanaging, and you are going to be so far removed from that passionate visionaire that started this business in the first place. Now, the reason why you become anxious and controlling is because you got caught in that trap. You are feeling out of control, and you are giving way too much power to the sell of the business to make your dreams come true. That's the trap you got into. Giving the sell of the business power over your inner peace. Now, one thing that you and I know about business is that things usually happen in the right timing. However, because of your emotional attachment to this business, you throw your wisdom out the window and you start believing that you have to control the whole process 
or else nothing is going to work out. Now, if you look back, there were times in your business when you trusted your gut, when you surrender, when you let things happen at the perfect time. You worked hard, yes, but you also allowed the flow to happen. This video is to encourage you to remember those times, to let go of those high expectations and to go with the flow. Let go of the need to control everything. But most importantly, do not let your inner peace and happiness be dependent on the sale of your business. Trust what you have built and relax into the process. Take control back of your inner peace by surrendering the outcome and allowing it to flow how it needs to flow. Trust the process, trust your team, and find ways to feel joy and ease in this experience and what you have created so far.